welcome back to another video. Today is another episode of Funko News, and today is FunCon or SDCC Day 1 of, re of Reveals. So first off, I'm starting off with the stuff that was officially revealed today, and then I will go on to the stuff that was revealed during um, the Funko Fun TV episode today, which I did watch, and... Um, there were three things revealed in the Fun TV that I want, but for the actual reveals from today, there's nothing that really interested me or caught my eye that I would want in my collection. But, um, I, with the Fun TV reveals, I'm not going to go too in-depth on them, because uh, I'll go in-depth when Funko officially announces them for FunCon. Anyway, first thing Funko announced today is the Alice in Wonderland Walrus with Carpenter and the Black Light White Rabbit. Now, I don't know where these two will be shared with. Um, now, a few of them are rumored to be shared with, shared with a few places. Um, I'm assuming the maybe... I feel like maybe one of them would... Probably the Funko Shop. I think the Black Light White Rabbit would probably go in the Funko Shop. Um, but I don't know. I don't know where these would be exclusive to. Maybe Target? I don't know. Um, but I think the Rawless with Carpenter does look really good. Now, I've never seen the Alice in Wonderland movie, but I think this year, I know they did an anniversary line for it, um, that was revealed in Funko Fair at, in January, beginning of 2021. So, for probably, there's been an Alice in Wonderland pop, um, for every convention, besides WonderCon. Yeah, no, well, I don't think there's one for WonderCon this year, but for the major... Uh, convention, so it'll probably be an exclusive at every one, and I think these two do look really good, uh, but these are two that I won't be picking up. Next one here, from Samurai Jack, we have the Demon Go, Demon Go? I don't know how to pronounce his name, um, but this one is rumored to be shared with Hot Topic. Now, I think this one is probably going to be pretty popular, because I know that the Samurai Jack pops are pretty popular. I know the two-pack um, I think it was the Samurai Jack and Aku 2-pack. I think those are worth a lot. Now, I never watched Samurai Jack, um, but I know it's a pretty popular show, so I think this pop would be pretty popular. And the only time we really get Samurai Jack pops is during a convention. Um, so I think this one would be a pretty popular pop. And this one is rumored to be shared with Hot Topic. Now, once they do announce where everything's going to be shared with, um, I will have do a Funko News episode um, and have like a store and then all the pops that would be shared um, at that store on a slide. Um, so yeah, this one is rumored to be shared with Hot Topic. Next pop Funko announced here was an ad icon. This is the McDonald's Bandmaster McNugget. Now this one is rumored to be shared with Hot Topic. Now I don't really know how I feel about the McNugget uh, ones. I mean, they're alright. Um, but I think they should have just sticked with the normal ones instead of making more. Um, because I don't, I don't know if the, I don't think the newer McDonald's wave was really all that popular. Um, I personally didn't really enjoy it that much. Everywhere I go, I see at least one of the pops. Um, but yeah, I think it's alright. Um, one I don't, I won't be picking up though. And other, for this one, um, the McNugget. Uh, she has a drum and uh, two drumsticks and a holder. I don't know how she'd even be able to play the drum because she doesn't have arms. Um, but it is, life finds a way. <laughs> um, but yeah, this one is rumored to be shared with Hot Topic. Uh, probably not my favorite one. Probably my least favorite out of the McNugget ones. I don't know. The McNugget ones, to me, I, I, I don't know how I feel about them. I don't really like them that much. Um, but this one is an alright pop, and this one is rumored to be shared with Hot Topic. Next thing Funko announced was the Parks and Recreation Phil Buster Leslie. Uh, this one is rumored to be shared with FYE. Now, so far, ones that were rumored for SDCC, SDCC uh, was this one was rumored, the Bandmaster McNugget was rumored, and I think, the, yeah, I think the Samurai Jack one was also rumored. Um, the Alice in Wonderland ones, I know for a fact, those two were not rumored at all. And now this one does look pretty cool. Now this one, uh, most people could, I saw this one coming, um, because, uh, this one was rumored to come out for SDCC. And, um, I think this is a cool one. Um, I don't watch the show, I've never seen the show. Um, but I think the pops for the show are pretty popular. And I think that the new wave, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure that the new wave for the show is, uh, starting to hit stores now. 
Next pop here, this one was also rumored for SDCC. This is the Disney's Emperor, Emperor's New Groove Scout Leader Kronk, or Kronk as Scout Leader. Uh, this one is rumored to be shared with the box lunch, which, which makes sense. They get a lot of Disney exclusives. And I do like this one. I think this is a cool one. I have seen the movie. Um, it's definitely by far not my favorite Disney movie. Um, the only character I really liked, um, my favorite character was probably Kronk. Um, because in my opinion, I, 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 I don't want to make people like this movie mad, but in my opinion, um, Emperor Cusco, he's, he's kind of a jerk. Um, yeah, he's, he's kind of a jerk in my opinion, but, uh, Kronk, he's a good character, I liked, uh, this character, and, uh, this one was another one that was rumored to come out, and I do like this one, um, this is one, though, that I probably won't pick up at, yeah, I probably won't pick this one up. Next one here is an ad icon slash, uh, this one's ad icon and from Jay in Silent Bob, and this one here is a Moby, Moby's mascot. Um, so, I think, I, I've never seen the movies, but I think, I was kind of interrupted, um, but this one, what I think it is, I've never seen the movie, but I think this is like an advertising mascot in the movie, um, this is like an advertising mascot, and, uh, this one is actually in the ad icons line, so they're considering this one an ad icon, um, but yeah, if you go on the Funko app, and um, type this one up, it will be under the ad icon line, um, which is kind of weird. I think it's like number 137 or 138 in the ad icons line. Now, um, I've never seen the movie, and this is one that I won't be picking up, but um, this one, I don't know where it'd be exclusive to, but I think this one might most likely would be on the Funko shop, in my opinion. Next one here is, it, we have TDK from the Suicide Squad movie. Uh, this is a new one, and he's holding his arm. Um, this is one I won't be picking up. I don't really have much to say about this one, because I haven't seen the movie yet. But, um, this is one, though, that I probably won't be picking up. And this one, uh, is, could potentially be shared with Hot Topic. And, uh, like I said, this one would possibly be shared with Hot Topic. It's rumored to be shared there. Um, and like I said, I will go through and, um, announce, or kind of talk about where everything's going to be shared with. And, uh, this is the start of the fun TV reveals. So this here is from Star Wars, the Rey Jakku. Now, this one is rumored to be shared with Amazon. Um, and I think this one does look pretty good. Uh, this is one that I won't be p picking up. And I think this is kind of for, like, them going across the different planets and those pops. Um, yeah, I think it's kind of in that series. Um, I don't know if this one will be popular. It might be. I think this one does look pretty cool. Um, uh, but this is one that I probably won't be picking up. Next one here from Star Wars Rebels is the Imperial Super Commando. Excuse me. Anyway, this one is one that I might pick up. It depends how many other things there are that I want to get. Um, because I might have to cut some off my list. But so far... There's about four things that I want. Um, I'm, I thought there was three during the fun, fun TV, but I forgot about this one. So there's four that were announced during the Fun TV that I want. And um, this is one of them. Now this one is possibly or rumored to be shared with Amazon. And this is one that I might pick up. I, the only reason why I'm picking, I'd pick this one up is because uh, he looks pretty cool. And if I'm not mistaken, that this character, he's based off the concept series Boba Fett. He's pretty cool. Um, but this is one I definitely will try to pick up, but, uh, once they announce everything, I'm gonna have to kind of go through my list. I might have to get rid of some on my list. Um, but so far, out of the four that I want, this one is probably t near toward the bottom, because two of them are ones that I want to get for family members, and then, uh, the other two are ones I'd want in my collection. And this is one I'd want in my collection, but, uh, depending on how many things that they announce that I want, I might have to take some off my list. Um, but this one is probably at the bottom of my, of my list, because I'm not too familiar with the character. Um, but he looks pretty cool, so I will try and pick this one up. And I, like I said, this one does look really cool. And uh, this is one that I definitely will try to pick up. And now, next thing Funko announced in the Fun TV was Danger Mouse and Danger Mouse. So this is for the 40th anniversary of Danger Mouse. Um, this one could possibly, most likely would be shared with the Funko shop. And I don't have much to say about this one, because I'm not too familiar with this character.
Next ones here we got are the Diamond Edition Bulbasaur and Squirtle. Now with Pokemon ones, they've been shared with a lot of different places. I know FYE has had some, Box Lunch, Barnes & Noble's Funko Shop. Um, so I don't know where these will be exclusive to, um, but Hot Topic I think has had some exclusive Pokemon ones. Uh, GameStop maybe, um, but these ones uh, I don't know where, where they would be. I don't know where they'd be shared with, uh, but these ones do look pretty cool. And I'm kind of going kind of quick through these, but I will go more in depth on them when Funko officially announces them. Next one here, I don't have the names of these two, um, but these ones are the My Hero Academia ones. Now, I have seen a leaked image of this one being shared with Hot Topic, or rumored to be shared with Hot Topic. I forgot his name, I think it's like Gang Orca or something like that. And I don't know the name of that character, and I don't know where that character would be exclusive to, but I know these two were rumored to come out, and they are. Uh, same with the Pokemon ones, I don't think. I'm trying to remember, yeah, these were these two were rumored to come out, and I don't watch My Hero, My Hero Academia, so these two that I won't be picking up. Um, but like I said, once I get further information on these, and when Funko officially reveals them, I will talk about them. Next one here are the Tokidoki Pops. Now, I don't have much to say about these ones because I'm not too familiar with this. Um, but I know that the common wave of these was announced for Fun Funko Fair. Um, but yeah, I don't know much about these ones, um, but here they are. They're making them for SDCC. Next one Funko announced is the Crash Bandicoot Crash and Mask Armor. Um, if I had to guess, this one will most likely be shared with GameStop. Now, this one um, is uh, from the Crash Bandicoot 4 game. It's about time. Um, so, this one, like I said, is from the fourth game. Now, I'm not, I've never played the Crash Bandicoot games because I'm, I'm pretty, yeah. I think you can only play them on PlayStation, and I have an Xbox. I think you can only play it on PlayStation. I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, but this is one that I probably won't be picking up because I've never played the game. Next one here, we have uh, four soda figures here for SCCC. And one of these soda figures is one that I'd pick up. So we have the Thor limited 15,000 pieces with Black Light Chase. The Harley Quinn limited 12,000 pieces with Metallic Chase. And then for Masters of the Universe, we have the Webster limited to 5,000 pieces with Well in the Dark Chase. And then the Prince Adam, limited to 10,000 pieces with a, uh, excuse me, metallic chase. Now, the soda figure that I'd want to pick up is the Thor one. Excuse me. So, I picked up the pop that was a 2019 Emerald City Comic Con exclusive. And that pop, if I'm not, I'm pretty sure that pop is what the soda figure is based off of the classic comic book Thor. And I think this is one of the first Marvel comic book soda figures. And I'm not talking about ones strictly from the movies. I'm talking about ones of the comic books. Um, because they've, of course, done... I know they've done Shang-Chi of the upcoming movie. Black Widow. Um, Iron Man. Thanos. But all of those were, um, the M for the MCU. These ones are strictly for the comic books. So that Thor soda figure is one I'm definitely trying to pick up, or I definitely will try to pick up. And most of the times, uh, most, yeah, most of the times, soda figures are shared with the Funko Shop. Um, so probably all four of these would be shared with the Funko Shop. Um, but that one there, that Thor, is one I'm definitely going to try to pick up. And we're not done with soda figures here. This is a limited to 3,000 pieces Kaboom cereal soda figure. Uh, this is kind of an older, I think this is from a very old cereal. Probably like 60s, probably kind of around uh, Quisp and Quake. Because they've done soda figures on these. So I think this would be made by the same company probably. kind of looks the same. Um, but this is one that I won't be picking up because I don't know much about this one. And this one is limited to 3,000 pieces. Um, so this one is probably going to be shared with the Funko Shop. And uh, for the um, Chase, he just has a different outfit on. Next one here, we got DC Pop. So we have, um, I think, Stargirl is one. Imperial Palace, Martian Manhunter, and Deathstroke. And then the Batman with, like, Blade. I know the Blade has a name. I don't know it. And then this one, which I'm definitely picking up for sure. Dr. Fate, which is in the bottom right corner. Dr. Fate 
is uh, one of my my brother really likes Doctor Fate as a DC character in the comic books, so this is one I'm definitely going to pick up for him or try to at least. And yeah, I can't wait um, to see where that Doctor Fate is exclusive to, so I definitely will try to get that one. Next one here, we have Ad Icons Sugar Smacks Smacksy the cereal. Now this one is a retro one, and um, hey, like I said, this one is a retro one. Um, so it's kind of an older, um, it's supposed to kind of be like, it's like the retro toy in the Tiger that came out in the Funko shop. It's another one of those retro cereals. Um, but this one is Smaxy the Seal. And he's the Sugar Smacks at Icon. And, um, nowadays it's Digum Frog. Now Digum Frog does have a pop. He was one of the earlier at Icon ones. So, um, this one is, um, the originally Digum, he was uh, Smaxy the Seal, and uh, this one again most likely will be shared with the Funko Shop. And um, yeah, overall, this one does look really cool. Uh, this is one though that I won't be picking up because I've never had the cereal, um, but this one is to go along with the retro Tony the Tiger. Next one here, we have two new ones in the retro toys line we have G.I. Joe and Transformers. Now, the Transformers one is Shockwave, and Shockwave is one that I'm definitely going to be picking up for sure i do really enjoy this one and i enjoy i do really enjoy the transformer pops in general um my dad just got home so my mom's like my mom's scared him i think so that's why it's kind of noisy um but this is one that uh the shockwave one is one i'm definitely going to pick up for sure um and i once i get further information on these ones i will let you know more about the gi joe one Next one here, we have new Marvel ones, so a few of them, we got Blade, Galactus, Falcon. Now, I don't know if I, I, I probably won't, I don't know if I'll pick up any of these. I might pick up that Captain America, um, because in my opinion, that Captain America does look really cool. Um, I don't know, I think, I don't know what that box is, though. It might kind of be showing what the box might look like. Um, but that Captain America pop, I do really like that one. And uh, that Captain America might be one that I pick up. I don't know much about what it is, though. Um, so once I do figure out more about that Captain America, I will let you know. Um, but the other ones, we got a Blade, a Cap Wolf, Galactus, which I think is a 10-inch art artist series, or not artist series, art series one, and then Falcon. Now, I do like that Captain America figure, but uh, once I know more about it, then I might start thinking about picking it up. Next one here, it's kind of hard to see, um, but this one is from the boys. This is the Black Norar. Um, really hard to see because he's black and this camera doesn't have good lighting. Um, but this one is from the boys, and um, I'm, I've never seen the show, so I don't have much to say about this one. Um, but they're making Black Noir from the boys. There, there you go. And this is the last one here from Dungeons and Dragons, the Xantar. I've never played Dungeons and Dragons, uh, and this one comes with the D to zero, so like dice, I think is what they come with, like dice used for the game. Uh, this one, I, I like I said, I don't play the game, um, but it looks like he has like what, like nine eyes or something like that. But uh, this one will most likely be shared with a GameStop. I think it'd be shared with GameStop most likely. And um, that's everything. Now day two coming tomorrow. And they also announced two new Loungefly backpacks. So we have one from Doctor Strange. And one from Rapunzel. So what was your favorite? Was it the Alice in Wonderland? Uh, Walvis with Carpenter? Or the Black Light White Rabbit? Or was it TDK from the Suicide Squad? Um, uh, Moosey's, yeah, Moosey's mascot from, uh, Jay and Silent Bob, the Lounge Fly, Doctor Strange backpack, Phil, Philly Buster, Leslie, Demon Go from Samurai Jack, I think that's how you pronounce his name, Bandmaster, Bandmaster, Bandleader McNugget, or was it Kronk, uh, Scout Leader from Emperor's New Groove, or the Repent backpack, um, I didn't... Uh, I didn't have the, um, uh, fun TV stuff, all of them, um, but my favorite thing, if I was forced to pick up one of these pops, 
I'd probably pick up the Scout, uh, Kronka Scout Leader, because that's the one I really kind of know, and probably my favorite one, um, out of all of them. But if I had to choose a favorite going off of looks, it'd probably be the Jane Silent Bob one. Um, but yeah, overall, I think these pops do look really good. And a day two reveals, uh, I will do a Funko News, most likely around the same time tomorrow. Anyway, that was today's episode of Funko News, San Diego Comic-Con Day 1. Thank you for watching, I'll see you guys later.